question I shorted above 66, okay, thinking that there might be a pullback for a scalp. Instead, I exited for a loss, even after scaling in. Can you comment on this trade? To me, I thought the odds were we might get a double bottom. To me, I, I personally would not have taken that short because we got a bull breakout on 65. So we have a bear flag here, and then we're getting a bull breakout of a bear flag. So it makes me wonder if we're going higher. So had I sold above 66, I'm going to buy back 67, close 68, close, maybe even go long. You can see that if you held for the rest of the day and sold more below a bear bar, we would have gotten out maybe around break even. So in terms of management, that would be my issue. So for me, if I'm selling the 66 close thinking trading range, and instead we get a bull break out of a bear flag with follow through 69, I automatically get out. And if I'm flat, I pretty much automatically get long. So this is the thing. It happens so fast. They sell the 66 close and they say, wait a minute, 67, that should have turned down. Instead, it's a big bull bar closing on its high. I've got to calm myself down here. Maybe I'll wait a bar or two. And all of a sudden, it just keeps going up and up and up. That's why I have all these mechanical defaults that I do. Um, and they sometimes mess me up, you know, getting me out of things too early. But it's less stressful. So if I make a bad trade, let's say I say sell 66 high, and you get that big bull break out 67, and my trade becomes bad. Right? Whether or not it was, it was a good idea, it doesn't matter. It's now bad. We're getting a bull break out of a bear flag. I'm just going to get out. I'm not going to worry about scaling in, saying maybe I can uh, minimize my loss. The market's going higher, so i got to get out. Question, sold the 14 high, moving average test, scaled in higher, stopped out about 2. Okay, well, it's way over here. Exit 43. Okay, sold the 14 high on the moving average test. So we sold this high. Okay, scaled in higher, stop above 2. Okay, exited bar 43, and did not want to hold into the FOMC report, and this, thought this is the best I could yet. Could have broken even on 47 had I waited. Did I handle it right? Would, uh, not to be selling the 14 high. My only thought is, I thought coming in that the sell-off was not all that strong. I thought the day would be pretty much a neutral day going into the report. And then we had a micro double bottom, 15 and 19 closing on its high. I thought you know, probably a minor reversal, but when I start to see bars closing on their highs like that, I'm starting to suspect that we may go higher. Um, I knew that we were going to get to the 14 high, all right? but that does not mean we stop at the 14 high. Usually when it gets there, you get two, two things that happen. One is the rally is weak and you test back down. This is not weak. We have all these bars closing on their highs. The other is you get a um, measured move up, okay, based on the height of the bar. So it takes us up there. So once we start going three, four ticks above that 14 high, I think we're probably going to go up for a measured move. So for me, I would not do it. Also, if we have a reversal and we have three bull bars closing on their highs and we have another couple of bull bars closing on their highs, I will sell at the moving average to take profits on the longs. I will not sell at the moving average to get into a short. I don't like to see consecutive bull bars, especially three out of four, closing in their highs like that. I would need the market to go a little bit sideways before I did it. And as far as keeping a stop above two, I thought that was probably okay. When you see this, you know you're going to get a second leg up, so a pullback second leg up. And our bear bar here, theoretically you get scale in bears who will sell below the bear bar, trying to get back down to the 14 close. I don't know, that's a lot to process. But in general, it's okay to use the wide stops above two. But if you do, I think it's better if you look to sell again below a bear bar, either here or here, and then simply try to get out, break even on the entire trade, and give up on the idea of a profit. For me, I usually get out on the breakout and the follow through. So if I'm shorting and the market breaks out against me and has follow through, I think there's too much risk of a measuring gap. So I usually just get out. And if anything, I'd look to quickly I'll take a trade in the opposite direction. But selling the 14 high, my concern was too many bull bars plus the micro double bottom. And we had the expanding triangle. And we had basically two large legs down and then two small legs down here. So I thought the best the bears probably were going to get here was a trading range. So you can argue you're selling at the moving average in a trading range. Yes, it's true but too many bars up. There's just too many bars up in here for me to take a first entry short or a limit order short. Okay, hope everybody has a good night.